Everybody knows somebody. My name's Becca, and I've struggled with anorexia for the past eight years now. Um, I was diagnosed at the very young age of 12. Um, many factors definitely contributed to me developing an eating disorder. Definitely not what the media portrays. Um, I can't think of just one thing. Um, I've always been a perfectionist, for sure. wanted straight A's, so I wanted to perfect my body. I always wanted to please others, and I seeked approval from other people. If others didn't like me, I didn't like myself, even though I normally didn't like myself anyways. Um, always was a people pleaser. Um, didn't want to rock the boat. I was never good at showing my emotions, so starving myself became a way to not feel emotions and to just be numb. Um, I also just didn't know what to do with myself, just didn't know how to be happy, so I thought losing weight would make me happy. <laughs> Boy, was I wrong. Um, back then, I would have never known how negatively my eating disorder would impact my life now. Um, I was always a straight A student. Um, I mean, I still continued to get straight A's, but I almost didn't get to graduate on time because of being hospitalized so many times and missing so much school. I wouldn't have enough credits. I didn't even get to walk with my class at the high school I grew up at. I had to graduate from an online school, which was really depressing. Um, I then got a scholarship to a school in New Hampshire where I live, and when the school found out about my medical condition and the eating disorder, I wasn't allowed to go because I was a liability and needed to seek help first. Um, I lost my biggest passion in life, which dance, which I'd been doing since I was three years old. Um, it was my life, and when I lost that, I felt like I lost my life. I definitely suffered in my relationship with God. Um, my Christianity has always been a big part of me, and the eating disorder tried to take that away as well. I've lost pretty much every friend I've had from childhood. Um, they all didn't know how to deal with the eating disorder, or thought it was strange or why I couldn't just snap out of it and they just wanted to shake me and be like, what are you doing? Lost boyfriends. Um, my relationship with my family is worse than it's ever been. Um, the biggest thing that's definitely happened is my health. Um, I <laughs> had permanent heart damage, um, organ damage. It's irreversible. I've um, I'm sick of being attached to IVs and feeding tubes and heart monitors and lying in a hospital bed and doctors telling me that you don't have much longer to live. Um, that's definitely the biggest loss that I've had. I first got help not until I was 15, so three years after I was diagnosed. Um, I started outpatient. Eventually I got placed inpatient. Um, I have been in and out since then, um, but I'm working really hard. Um, I got appointed a medical guardian because I wasn't making good medical decisions on my behalf. Um, but I'm not giving up. I'm still fighting. I don't want to make another statistic in the eating disorder world. I want to be that one that can say, I'm Becca and I recovered from anorexia, not I'm Becca and I struggle with anorexia. I'm still fighting for recovery and everyone else should as well. Who do you know? You can help for treatment, referrals, support, and to learn more about eating disorders. Visit nationaleatingdisorders.org or call the NETA hotline today at 800-931-2237.